video we are going to learn the behavior of lines representing a pair of linear equations in two variables and the existence of the solution. For this let us consider graphical representation of pair of linear equations in two variables. If the values of variables x and y in any two linear equations are equal then those two equations are called as pair of linear equations. We know that the graph of a linear equation is always a straight line. We also know that when there are two lines in a plane, only three possibilities are there. First one, the two lines will intersect at a point. Second one, the two lines are parallel. Third one, the two lines are coinciding. If two lines intersect at a point, then the coordinates of intersecting point is the solution of pair of linear equations. Therefore, we say equations are consistent and have unique solution. Algebraically, this can be represented by taking the ratios of coefficients of x and y of the two equations. When lines are intersecting, then a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. There is no need to check the ratio of constant that is c1, c2. When two lines do not intersect, they are parallel. They do not have solution, hence the equations are inconsistent. The algebraic representation of this condition is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but that is not equal to c1 by c2. Let us see if all the ratios are equal. This is the last possible case of lines on a plane. If the two lines coincides, then every point on the line is a solution of the equations. Hence, equations are consistent with infinite solution. The algebraic representation of this condition is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 that is equal to c1 by c2. This will help us to know the existence of solutions of given pair of linear equations. Let us learn the graphical solution of a pair of linear equation with an example. For this, let us consider a pair of linear equation x minus y equals 4 and x plus y equals 6. We know that the graph of these equations are straight line. To draw a straight line, we need at least two points. If we know the coordinates of these points that lie on the straight line, we can easily represent those points on the graph and we can draw the straight line. Here I am considering three points. How to find these coordinates is, if you give the value for x in the equation, you will get the value of y. And if you give the value for y, you will get the value of x. Here I am giving the value for x. If the value of x is 4, the x minus y equals 4 can be written as y equals x minus 4 after transforming the x to RHS. The, if the value of x equals 4, the value of y is 0. If the value of x equals 5, 5 minus 4, value of y equals 1. If value of x equals minus 1, minus 1 and minus 4, that gives minus 5. The value of y is minus 5. Similarly, to find the coordinates of x and y for the x plus y equals 6, if I give the value as 6 to the x in the equation, I get 0 as y value and if I give 7 as x value, the value of y is minus 1. If x equals minus 1, the value of y is 7. Let us plot these coordinates on the Cartesian system. First, we are plotting the equation x minus y equals 4. The first point is 4 comma 0 that is x coordinate is 4 and the y is 0. The second point is 5 comma 1 and the third point is minus 1 comma minus 5. All these three points are collinear. Now let us join these collinear points with the, the line segment. This line represents the equation x minus y equals 4. 
Now let us plot the second graph x plus y equals 6. The coordinates of the first point is 6 comma 0, second point is 7 comma minus 1 and the third point is minus 1 comma 7. So if we join these three points that represent the line x plus y equals 6. You can observe that these two lines intersect at the point A. The coordinates of this point A is the x coordinate is 5 and the y coordinate is 1. This 5 comma 1 is the solution of the pairs of linear equation x minus y equals 4 and x plus y equals 6. This you can verify by substituting in any one of the equation. Let us substitute in the first equation. The x value is 5 and the y value is 1. 5 minus 1 is 4. Hence LHS equals RHS. We can also find the existence of the solution by finding the ratios of the coefficients of these pairs of linear equation. That is whether the two lines intersect or these two lines are parallel or these two lines are coincidence by knowing A1 by A2, B1 by B2 and C1 by C2. Thank you.